I haven't been to chat with you for I think it's probably about a week and a half so apologies for that it has been a busy week and a half so I just need a cup of coffee I'm trying to charge something for my car so I can take the boys my three dogs out for a walk and I've got all sorts going on at the moment so as I said apologies for the delay um, in sending you another video it is because I have been I finished my 28th book and then I had to read through it before I sent it off um, which I've now done so that was exciting and now I'm preparing for publication day uh, next whatever today is next Wednesday so the 24th for this book welcome to Hollyhock Farm this is the first in a brand new series of mine this is about the Torrell family and their beautiful farm Hollyhock Farm and it's about the two parents uh, Gareth and Lindy have look at all these lovely books have um, decided after a bit of a health scare Gareth's health scare that it's time they retired they have spent nearly 30 years running this farm day in and day out um, and it's an organic farm the only animals they have are ones that they uh, look after just to give a lovely home to and they basically grow produce that sort of thing and it's it's but it's hard work farming is a lot of hard work and so they decided they want to travel they want to see a bit more of the world than just their farm and so they call their two children back pardon me Letty who is a fashion she works in fashion in London and Zach her, her younger brother who is a sound engineer so he travels to festivals does recordings that sort of thing they bring them back to the island and they break the news that they're selling the farm both are horrified and Letty who is sort of not sure if he's, she's about to be made redundant anyway decides you know what I can do this she's got no prior experience having never been interested in the farm at all um, and apart from helping out the odd time you know growing up during the holidays she's done very very little for it so but she pleads with her parents and eventually persuades her father to give her three months to prove that she's got what it takes to run the farm as you can imagine somebody with very little experience an awful lot can and does go wrong and there's also a gorgeous young uh, vet Brody who comes back to the island he's from the island but he's been to university and then worked away getting experience for quite a few years and he comes back to the island and takes over the village veterinary practice and he doesn't remember Letty he's a couple of years older than her so they went to the same school but he doesn't remember her she remembers him only too well he is her lifelong crush really um, but after she made uh, had a very embarrassing incident with him she and never thought she'd see him again it's something she sort of kept privately to herself so now he's their local vet it's something of an embarrassing situation for her there is a rescue dog involved and there's Spud the farm dog who obviously Letty adores there a lot happens so I'm hoping you like it the reviews so far are very good mostly <laughs> which is lovely um, because you want people to love it these so these books these are my copies that have arrived one of these books I will be signing um, to go to a competition winner so if you look out on X as it's called now or any Boldwood stuff you will see but X I think it is or Facebook Boldwood um, Facebook page you will see a competition I think that you can enter to win a signed copy of one of the paperbacks that I will be sending off to somebody so this could be yours if you sign up and if you win uh, good luck if you do sign up so that is next Wednesday I'm very excited I look forward to receiving my gorgeous Boldwood publication day shortbreads uh, but that won't be till next week of course so that's very exciting as I said so I've got to prepare uh, various different things for promotion for that so we do a publication day video um, I will be doing a blog post um, there'll be photos of the island a uh, lovely farm on the island what else will there be oh character biographies character bios so you can you can find out a bit more about the characters so that's that's what I'm working on at the moment um, tomorrow I'm doing my tax 
doing my tags. I don't think there's many people who like doing their tags. Oh, it's so exhausting. And I am, I'm a word person, although some people would argue with that, <laughs> but I'm not a figure person. I'm not a number person. Um, so it's, ugh, it's a chore, isn't it? But it has to be done and I need it done. Another thing, so today, I've been out to brunch with my mum and my godmother, which was lovely. We went to a place called Ransom's, which does fabulous breakfast, lovely meals. Anyway, it's also a garden centre. Um, there's also a shop called the um, Potting Shed. So I, of course, succumbed and ended up buying myself a little bag for the summer. Um, garden centre I went to where I dropped off. I have spent a lot of money. I've had to change my dog's diets. Um, as I say, my three dogs are rescue dogs, they're from Spain and uh, they're from um, a company called the Company of Dogs over here and they are based at Ransom's, this garden centre. So I had a 13 and a half kilo kilogram bag full of kibbles that my dogs, after a couple of meals, decided, nah, don't like them. Not one of them would eat them, even Rudy, who's a complete gannet. And I had some other meals that they wouldn't eat and I had loads of treats that they didn't want um, so I, I took those up this morning stupidly I the lady said yes bring them in and instead of taking a trolley to my car I carried everything in so I was probably carrying about I don't know 12 or 13 kgs which to some people isn't a lot to me <laughs> it was a lot oh, I think I've done myself a permanent damage I must be more careful anyway one of the things um, that they were very grateful which is really sweet because what they do is they bring the um, van full of the dogs they already have arranged um, homes for the dogs before they bring them from Spain um, they bring them up and then when the van goes back to Spain um, to the rescue center there they take dog food and stuff like that which is why I dropped off all that dog food that my dogs obviously won't eat oh they're, they're such divas aren't they but my mum bought me this while we were there uh, which is really lovely it's a notebook of course it is I love notebooks don't we all and this one says, find joy wherever you are. And that's something I really need to remember because life has been a bit odd uh, for the last year. Um, and also inside, now where did I just see this? Okay, oh gosh, I really should plan these things better. Oh, there it is. Um, I love a notebook. I, will, I have a lot, but I always use them for different things. So look at that, isn't that lovely? You've also got right in the middle, better than great and less than perfect and I think it's a reminder for me to be try and find the joy in everything wherever I am like it says which is always good um, I always do try and do that but you know sometimes it's not easy and try not to be too hard on myself which I tend to be sometimes so that was a lovely present from her so I'm really grateful I hope you're having a lovely time I hope it's cheering up a bit wherever you are it is getting warmer here Although I walked the dogs yesterday and as beautiful as it was, um, the view of the sea was gorgeous. It was like a lovely turquoise colour. It was absolutely beautiful, but it was really, really cold. And because it looked sunny and because it was warm from my house and then from my car and from my studio, I didn't think to take a coat. I was frozen. <laughs> but it was a lovely walk. I've still got to walk them today and they're waiting, two of them waiting patiently and one is in the house. Um, so I suppose I better go and do that. So I hope you're having a wonderful week. If you've got any questions, please do ask me below. Um, please click the, tick the thumb up thing and press subscribe if you want to get an alert for every time I do a post. And if you would like to be on the chance of winning one of these, um, then please do look for Boldwood on X, you know, Twitter, um, or a Facebook thingy and you can I don't know what you have to do, like it or something. I'm not sure, leave a comment, I'm not sure. And you could be with the chance of winning one of these books. And if you do buy it and read it, I hope you enjoy it. And thank you very much. Hope you have a lovely week and I'll chat to you soon.